This is Kids Camp. It's a very active camp. Uh, we, we have different uh, activities from uh, rappelling off a 50-foot tower out on the air assault course to uh, leather working. This camp gives them an ability to, uh, to uh, kind of talk to other kids and share experiences with other kids that, that have the same kind of background. I finally built up the courage to go back up there and I tried it and I loved it. I mean, it teaches you to conquer your fears and once you conquer those fears, you will love them. You will love whatever you're doing. And rappelling has taught me a lot of things. Well, I thought that it was just going to be really, really tough, but I really, I wanted to go to a military camp. I wanted, you know, a hardcore military camp. And this camp is actually really awesome. And both, and it's both, it's both. Like it's fun and it's hard. It's hard. I thought about how it was last year because I did it last year, and um, it wasn't that hard. This means a lot to my kids. They're they kind of feel like unforgotten kids. They've um, feel they've kind of left out, you know, where, you know, when my husband goes away and they come back, it's no, there's no military people around us. We're not in a town where other kids or fathers and moms are in the military. So this gives us a chance to get to know other kids that are going through the same things. It was pretty easy. I saw a little dot near my line and I thought if that's a fish, it's going to swim toward it. And I think that was what the dot was. The hard stuff is just the mar long marches and just learning the cadence. And the ceremony is like what we're practicing for, for so we can go against like the other teams and we can win. Well, we probably will win. Yeah, and we just do the, our drills and our fa right face and left face where you turn the group. It's really, really fun. It looks great. EST, the simulator, is my funnest part because it, it like puts you in that combat position. And it's not just from 9 to 13 year olds. You can go as 14 year old and be a youth volunteer. And um, 14 to 18. And then you can, at 18, you can be a, an adult volunteer. And you can help out kids like us right now. Um, we could, like us right now, we're going through camp. We could grow up and be another youth volunteer and lead other people that you learned here at camp want to join the military but not sure about it, they come to this camp and they learn about military things. And, it, and if they're sure they want to go in the military and come here and they find out they don't have, you know, they don't want to go in the military, it saves them the time and the money from going in the military and being good in college from being in the military. I'm excited that they come to camp even with their parents deployed because, you know, the very nature of the National Guard, it's, it's, it's a dispersed community. And a lot of these kids, it's not Fort Sill, it's not Enid, it's not um, Altus, where they might be, or Tinker, you know, Oklahoma City, or Tinker, where they might be going to school with other military kids. So we kind of have to bring the kids together. And at our opening ceremony, uh, one of the presenters asked how many had a parent or family member deployed. And it, to me, it seemed like close to three quarters. So the kids are getting around other kids and they're talking about what it's like to have a parent deployed. It's really great. I mean, it's just kind of a big family, and, and there are so many siblings in different age groups, you know, so they kind of have that bond, um, you know, where they kind of are looking out for each other. There's the competition, you know, but it's all in kind of fun. Um, I think it's just amazing how all the kids really do get along and work well together. Camp is our most important. I'll, I'll echo myself once again in that we, we have to go out and we have to find, we have to bring the kids into one group. And this camp could have absolutely none of the activities that we do here, um, or it could have 
It could be three weeks long and, and, be, and be full of three times the activities, but the important part is the relationships that they're making. You know, from here, there's gonna be numbers exchanged, there's gonna be Facebook friends, and it's just a, a, it's another way for these kids, whether they're going through a deployment or not, to, to stay connected in the Oklahoma National Guard, both the area and Army family that we have here in the state. It's not like, it's not the deep end military camp where if you do something wrong, you gotta do like 100 push-ups. No, it's just if you do something wrong, yeah, you'll learn about it next time. You'll do better next time. But as soon as you get, as soon as you start to meet somebody here, you're like best friends for life because you, you just can't wait till next year to see them again. These youth leaders get such satisfaction of kids looking up to them. They get to pass on what they've learned through their camps, and they've got to pass it on to other children, so they get to pass it on and teach other younger ones. And they actually fight for positions to, to become leaders here. Basically, they're going to just come out with life lessons that is going to be useful because you have to be able to lead a group at a job and at college. Um, you have to be able to talk to groups, not be afraid teach someone something, not be timid, um, and just all the major life skills that you, just, you learn just by playing and interacting with these groups. Focusing on the, focusing on the family to me can only help sustain uh, not only the children but also the service members because overall family health um, takes a lot of stress off obviously everybody. Well, I, I was thinking it was going to be more of a hardcore, if you don't do this right, you're wrong kind of camp, but no, it actually turned out to be a fun, educational, really, really fun camp. It's really, really one of the few opportunities that we have to get the Air and the Army kids together. It's, it's my dad does this, my mom does this, my brother does this, and the, and the, and the kids start to understand a little more of what, what the military looks like and, and, and overall what, what, the, what types of commitments and sacrifices our service members make. 2011, drill and cadence winner is the 13 year old 90th Troop Command. Y'all ready for a good time? Who wants a good time out there? If, if you just heard about this and you ha don't really feel sure about it, you should at least come and try it out the first year. If you don't like it, it's okay, don't come back. But, it, but I almost guarantee you, you will like it and you will come back for the remainder of the years.